Hello everyone! Welcome once again into my studio and today is the tutorial for the hair comb that I'm wearing that uh, I put up on Facebook. Thank you so much for all the likes and all the nice comments. This is a very versatile piece in the sense that you can basically put it on anything. So what is important is first to learn how to do the base and I call the base uh, snake or ladder because that's how it looks like and you can basically make it into any form or shape that you want so um, very easy to do and after you have done the base and after you have embellished the base you can put it on anything so let's go over the materials quickly uh, you can find the comb or the clip from your drugstore and I bought mine from just uh, a CVS pharmacy or a Walgreens and they have those. You will also need the 18 gauge wire and that's for your base and the 28 gauge the thin, thin wire to wrap your motif into your comb. Or whatever it is that you want because you can also put it on a on a headband um, and you need the tube beads so I have here a half inch tube and a three-fourth inch tube but you can uh, make your base uh, to accommodate a longer or bigger tube so it's up to you this is very much free form and also just an assortment of beads to embellish your motif. And uh, it can be like uh, the hair piece, it can be like this, or I actually made a tiara with this. Also just putting it on a comb and I just kind of embellish it to make it look like a tiara. So you can also do that. So what we're going to be learning is first to make the base. You make it into like this. So even now you can already imagine that this is very easy and this is something you can do. And um, But let me show you quickly how I did so this. So I start out by cutting 21 or 22 inches of the 18 gauge wire. And I have the round nose and the chain nose pliers here. So first we need to make this uh, loops in the beginning. So I find it easy if I use my chain nose to do that because it grabs really well uh, and then I'll take my round nose and just continue just making like two loops and I want to leave space there so I can uh, wrap my wrap it into the comb comfortably like that and then once you have that it's just a matter of just making the making this uh, teardrop shape what I call them so it's very much free form I don't measure it you can measure it if you want to uh, but basically I'm just making like seven seven teardrops like this so it's very free form like I said and I would make about uh, seven of these teardrops just doing that and you just kind of eyeball make sure this is straight here on the edge you will probably do a better job than me uh, it's not really <laughs> um, it's not really that uh, easy when you are trying to uh, fit the tutorial in to 15 minutes. So right now I have, I need one more. So I think I cut my wire too long. So I have a lot of extra. 
So I have now seven. So I will just cut this here and then just also turn this into a loop just so it'll be the same as the other side and just like so I think I made this loop longer like that so now you have your snake or ladder motif okay and this should fit this comb right here because you can make it it's adjustable to fit so then we're going to take our thin wire and embellish our motif the fun part so this is your motif and we are going to embellish your teardrop so you have about one two three four five six seven teardrops and the in between the space in between you don't do anything with that but you can because like I said it's pretty much free form so first what we need to do is just attach your wire your 28 gauge wire on there and just kind of like wrap it around like so and uh, then I would want to uh, like tie the end of the teardrop together using your wire and I just want to uh, secure it like this and then uh, one more time and then I'm going to take a bead that will fit into this teardrop here and that will be um, I think the half inch bead so uh, this one so as you can see it fits but if there's enough space for you to put a crystal or whatever you want on top to make it nice you can so for example I'll uh, take uh, this uh, bead but it can be anything just make sure that it's the hole is big enough to pass second time so now you have that and I'm just going to anchor that to the top by again just wrapping the wire if you run out of a wire it's very easy because you can hide the ends uh, through the the inside your paper bead so then I'm just gonna put it through when this the ends has a tendency to just kink and it doesn't want to go through so you would just want to cut cut it and then put it through like so so just pull it just make sure that you know the wire is not kinking mm -hmm. okay so there you are and I just would want to anchor it once again in the base and doing this Okay, and then I would want to cross to the next teardrop by just wrapping the wire like so okay and then cross to the next teardrop again do the same thing yeah this is the next teardrop do the same thing and then put in your second tube bead and like I said, you can embellish it to your heart's desire. So you do that, and then if you want, if you run out of of wire, all you have to do is just attach another wire. 
and we use and leave a longer tail like what I did with mine so you can then wrap it into your comb so let me show you how to do now that. Now you have this, um, you will just, uh, very easy, just wrap it like so. Just continue wrapping it, wrapping it. Like I said, very much free form and Continue do, to do that, and then you have like a mini tiara or the hair piece, or you can even attach it to something like this, and that'll be pretty. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today.